Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Priyanka Singh and in today's video I'll be talking about retinal lasers. As we know laser is used in uh, multiple industries and even in medical field it is used in many places. When we talk about eye, laser is used in uh, correction of glasses which is LASIK surgery. Laser is also used in uh, glaucoma management. It is also used in cataract surgery and especially I'll be talking about uh, retinal lasers. So lasers which are used in uh, retinal problems. When we talk about uh, retinal lasers, the most common indication for retinal lasers is diabetic retinopathy. Now what is diabetic retinopathy? Patients who have diabetes might develop uh, retina changes as a result of diabetes and what happens the blood supply to the retina comes down and in such patients the retina starts forming abnormal blood vessels. Now the problem with these abnormal blood vessels is that they are very fragile, they can leak and they can cause bleeding and detachment of the retina. So what do we do? We do retinal lasers in such patients. In these cases we try to treat the retina which has poor blood supply and as a result of that the abnormal blood vessels will slowly shrink and hence the patient's eye is stabilized. Now let me tell you one thing that doing such retinal lasers which we call as pan retinal photocoagulation or PRP which is done in diabetic patients it is not to improve the vision it is just to stabilize the vision of the patient. Uh, there is one more condition in diabetic patients known as uh, macular edema in which there is fluid accumulation in the retina. So in such cases also some amount of laser can be done that laser is known as focal laser in which we try to uh, specifically target the leakage points so that the swelling reduces. There are few patients in whom retinal tears or holes can form. So what happens, the eye is filled with a jelly and that jelly is attached to the retina at almost all the places. With age, that jelly tends to separate and in few patients, during that jelly separation, a part of retina may also tear with the jelly, leads to formation of a tear or a hole. In such cases, what we do is we do laser around such tears and holes. So by doing laser, we are not going to close the tear or the hole. We are going to make like a boundary wall. So we call this laser as a barrage laser. We surround it with laser in order to reduce the risk of retinal detachment from such tears and holes. These are the two most important uh, indications of retinal lasers. Apart from this, there can be few other conditions like uh, uveitis or abnormal blood vessel formation in cases of uh, vein occlusion or other blood vessel blockages. Yeah, so having said uh, all this about lasers, uh, it is a very simple procedure generally done in OPD. It doesn't require admission. You can come get the laser done and you can go back home, carry on your normal activities. Post laser, the vision may remain slightly blurred for some time. The, uh, few patients may experience some heaviness of the head which is absolutely normal. So whether, whether you require a retinal laser or not will be decided by the uh, retina specialist. And if you need it, if you have been advised one, please get it done. We at Shekhar Eye Hospital have uh, all the kinds of lasers, as I mentioned, available here. And we have been treating many patients since years together. So kindly do visit us if you have any retinal issues or just for a general examination as well. Uh, for more uh, content on eye-related uh, issues, please subscribe to our channel of Shekhar Eye Hospital.